Dear residents, city council, and city staff, another year has passed and it is time again for the state of the city. As we reflect on the past year, Waukesha history will always note that 2023 was a year Waukesha transitioned to a Lake Michigan water supply. Our community worked diligently towards this wonderful and outstanding achievement for over 20 years. We need to celebrate that we, as a community, achieved a sustainable, healthy water source for generations and generations. We also celebrate our other accomplishments over the last year. We focused on investments in infrastructure with roads, storm sewers, playgrounds, soccer fields, and more. Our police and fire departments are better able to serve the needs of our community through the Police Crisis Response Unit and the Fire Department Case Manager position. We also dedicated the Main Street Parade Memorial to honor those who lost their lives, those injured, and those affected by the parade tragedy. As I reflect on the last year, we continue to improve and we are positioned to address future challenges. I take pride that our community comes together to face challenges while supporting each other. I also take pride that we, as a community, celebrate together. Our goal is to continue to make Waukesha a better place. Each of us working together makes Waukesha truly special. I hope that you enjoy reflecting on what we have accomplished together this past year. The city of Waukesha was incorporated February 4th, 1896. Today, the city stretches 25 square miles, with a population over 70,000. The city has just over 30,000 households, with a median household income of $77,000, and a median home value of $267,000. The Waukesha Water Utility completed construction of a new water supply for the city of Waukesha on time and within budget. Waukesha's groundwater supply was severely depleted and contaminated with naturally occurring radium. After 20 years of planning, engineering, design, and construction phases, the city is now on 100% Lake Michigan water. The new supply of Lake Michigan water will be safe, dependable, and sustainable for generations to come. As part of the city's approval process for receiving Lake Michigan water, the city needs to return the same amount of water back to Lake Michigan after treatment. To accomplish this, the city's clean water plant installed a new return flow pump station. This included four 350 horsepower pumps and a surge suppression tank. The return flow pipeline and process was an important piece to the city's approval to receive Lake Michigan water. Through the return flow pipeline, the city is able to meet all permit requirements. Following the 2021 Christmas Parade tragedy, a Parade Memorial Commission was formed to work on permanent memorials that would honor all those affected. Through the course of their efforts, it was determined that two memorials were needed, a marker downtown where the tragedy occurred, and another larger memorial with space for reflection and gathering at Grady Park. On November 21st, 2023, the community gathered together to dedicate the Main Street Parade Memorial at the east corner of the Five Points intersection in downtown Waukesha. The second memorial at Grady Park is still being completed and is planned to be dedicated on November 21st, 2024, the third anniversary of the tragedy. The city completed construction on the second synthetic turf field at Mindiola Park. With the creation of this second field, the master plan for this complex takes a significant step forward. There are many advantages offered by the additional turf field at Mindiola Park. Turf fields offer city savings on maintenance costs and reduce staff maintenance time. They also allow for more continued and earlier play during the sports seasons. In addition, the turf field will offer more opportunities for tournaments, leagues, programs, and rentals which will generate increased revenue for the city. In June 2023, the city completed the Broadway Reconstruction Project, which was the last street in the downtown reconstruction program. Since 2014, the city has been working on the streets downtown to make improvements to the roadway, utilities, and streetscape. The Downtown Reconstruction Program focused on several improvements such as widened streetscape with expanded sidewalk space, visual enhancements such as concrete brick pavers and bike racks, and new roadways, sewer mains, water mains, and storm sewers. In April 2023, the Waukesha Police Department established the Major Crash Task Force. The Major Crash Task Force ensures that major crashes that result in serious injury or death are investigated in coordination with the District Attorney and Medical Examiner's Office. Since implementation, 
The Major Crash Task Force has been deployed to six fatal crashes. The Major Crash Task Force has the goal of reducing vehicle, pedestrian, and bike collisions resulting in serious injury or death. In June 2023, the Waukesha Metro Transit System put into effect a redesigned route system. This new restructured route system also included added service to Freightert and Children's Hospitals. In addition, Waukesha Metro Transit welcomed riders to Wisco, a new fare collection system. Wisco offers many features such as more ways to pay, fare capping, and a smoother transfer to other regional transit options such as the Milwaukee County Transit System. The newly designed Waukesha Metro Transit routes have helped to increase rider efficiency. Since the redesign in June, ridership efficiency has increased 19% over 2022. In addition, overall ridership has increased. Fixed route ridership has increased 29%, and Metrolift ridership has seen a 12% increase. The City of Waukesha Fire Department hired a new grant-funded case manager. The goal of this newly created position is to provide those needing support with additional resources and services that are beyond what a firefighter can provide on an emergency call. The case manager can partner with our fire department to offer better service to the community and allow people to connect with needed resources. This past year, the city implemented a number of new programs to help rehabilitate affordable homes and commercial spaces in the community. The programs are designed to offer 0% or low interest loans for home or commercial space improvements. This included improvements to address code compliance, exterior improvements, life safety improvements, and other repairs. Through these programs, the city distributed over $1 million for improvements.
Thank you for watching the State of the City. We all look forward to the accomplishments of the coming year. Thank you very much.